name is Scott Ray, Woodburn Farm, Somerville, Tennessee. Uh, we farm mostly bottom ground, and in 2012, we had an unusually dry start, uh, which allowed for great emergence and uh, early growth without a uh, rainfall hampering the early season growth. And uh, that was very beneficial in the long run. We received timely rains throughout the year, but the early start is really what was beneficial to us. The seed population for 2012 was 38,000 seeds per acre on 30 inch rows on a raised seed bed. Pre-plant, we uh, burned down, used Roundup, Banville, and where we no-till, we use Valor. Our problem weed in this area is becoming uh, Roundup resistant Palmer pigweed. We treat the Palmer pigweed by swapping chemical chemistries and our rotation with corn and cotton really helps combat the problem. We can change chemistries from one year to another. We do have a Roundup Ready resistant mare's tail problem. We combat that by swapping chemistries and using a tillage program. At planting, we do our tillage work and we uh, plant on a raised seed bed and on our bottoms uh, to ensure the seed will have a dry seed bed, firm dry seed bed. Uh, I put out uh, Infura, a 1034-0 at five gallons per acre with a zinc additive and a veil. I also broadcast out the planter, uh, the half a rate of atrazine at planting. And we come back post-emergence with the remaining atrazine and the full rate of Halex. I put on part of our nitrogen pre-plant. I like to put Neutrosphere on it, which controls leaching, and we put the remaining nitrogen out at approximately seven inches in plant height, and Neutrosphere is also added with the nitrogen on that application. At side dress, uh, we, we come in about seven inches of plant height, and we apply the remainder nitrogen with the Neutrosphere applied to the nitrogen. 2013 has been a challenge to say the least. We've had a uh, unusually late start, a wet start. Uh, we had to replant. Uh, where we had to replant received water damage. Uh, we have population limited in some places due to the water damage. It's July now. Uh, our maturity range is, is rather broad. We have uh, a portion of it that's going into black layer uh, all the way down to tassel. So we really got delayed at planting and had big time windows where we, the planter was sitting still during the planting window due to the excess rainfall. Some of the practices that we've learned to incorporate into our operation that we're gonna to continue to use are the half a rate of atrazine at planting and the infer fertilizer system.